what do we need to do? What do we need to do uh, in these tough times? Specifically about certain news. Certain news. And some news, as you know, for example, this Premier League. I want you to discuss this Premier League. Some people are, are going crazy. I don't know if you know this, but the Premier League is now cancelled. Yeah, and it will continue in April. This is maybe the first time in, you know, Allah knows best. And there's no football until 4th of April. And Liverpool, they were very close to winning the, 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 the champions, what is it, the Premier League. And now they're all upset now. People are upset. No, this is not fair. This is all propaganda. They knew Liverpool were going to win. And they done this. No, this is not the case. And even if it is, what is the big deal anyway? Seriously, what is the big deal? Specifically for Muslims, what is the big deal? Maybe we have to think like this, for those people especially who love football. They, I've mentioned this on multiple occasions. There is no harm in watching football. But some people ask, they like, it's as if they're addicted to it. They have to watch it. At times they'll miss Salah, like we mentioned in Ramadan, remember? The Champions League was between Asr and Maghrib. People are missing the Salah. Whereas this is the time of Dua, this is the time of Dhikr, Fikr, this is the time of Quran, recitation, remembering Allah Ta'ala, uh, you know, doing muraqaba, sitting down, remembering Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, you are, in, you are, in the, you are at home and watching football. So this, this is affecting a lot of people. Specifically Muslims, we have to think, maybe this Champions League, obviously from Allah, this Premier League is from, is the cancelling is from Allah. Because everything happens from Allah, it's taqdeer. I mentioned last week that it's known as taqdeer, it's qadr. We believe in qadr, in fact, we have to believe in qadr. If we don't, we're not Muslim. Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi wal yawmil akhiri wal qadri khayrihi wa sharrihi min Allahi ta'ala. Qadr, which is good and bad, is from Allah. So everything is from Allah. So this Premier League is from Allah, that it's, it's cancelled. Liverpool fans, we know you, we know you love the, the, the uh, we would never walk alone. We know this. Allah says, no, no one's watching anymore. Why? But maybe there's a sign, to be honest. And this is the way I see it. Maybe there's a sign for these people who are hooked on to football. They know everything about football, who plays and who, who the, the new uh, players that are being bought, 50 million, 60 million. And who scored and who was at the next game and, and now they're even upset about the parade that even if they do win, there will be no parade. Like seriously, who cares? I'm being serious, as Muslim, we shouldn't think like this. Yes, we watch a game and we, we support it to a certain level, okay, no problem. Maybe this is from Allah, like I mentioned, that Allah wants us to contemplate, Allah wants us to come back. Allah wants us to leave this, this football and not support it in such a way where we become bagal, we become crazy become hooligans where our heart is supposed to be attached to the masjid heart is supposed to be attached to Islam, Quran, Sunnah Hadith, read some Hadith, read some Quran no, everything is about football our Salah is about football in the Salah we're remembering all types of players what's going to happen in Liverpool now what's happening in Arsenal all this is because some people are so addicted to this and they love Arsenal so much they, they love Arsenal you say anything brother, smash you up bro is murder, murder will take, bloodshed will take place. Muslims. So we have to be a bit calm. And we have to think, it's from Allah. And what can we do at this time? Let's say there's no Premier League. What can we do at this time? How much Quran do we read? Do we read Quran on a daily basis? If we do, Alhamdulillah. Thank Allah and pray to Allah that Allah gives you tawfiq and hidayah and ability to do more. To read more Quran to do more tasbih. But if we don't read the Qur'an, maybe this is the time to contemplate and think that, oh, you know what, I don't read the Qur'an. And the time when I watch this football, Premier League, when I watch these matches for 90 minutes, 90 minutes, one and a half hours, what can we do? Can we read some Qur'an in that time? Maybe there might be a lockdown in London. Allah knows best. Maybe we can't go out. We need to think, what can we do at that time? If we start, just like these people are uh, are preparing themselves for the worst, going to Tesco and buying all sorts and you know stocking up so you know they have everything in the house mashallah which is also good we should we should plan for the for the future yeah so isn't this planning for the future that if this does come at the moment is reaching 11 
around 1100, 11, 1140. And the death, I don't know what is the total, I don't know what is right now. But whatever it is, it could, it could get worse. So we have to plan what can we do. Because time is very important. Once time, once time elapses, it's finished. It's, it was ne- it's never going to come back. It's never going to come back. And people, we will regret this. People will regret this. That we had a time, we were at home, we were doing nothing. Is the only thing that we do is watch f- football? Or is the only thing that we watch TV? Or we read new newspaper? Or we just keep reading things on, or watching things on YouTube? Is this the only thing? No. It's, our life is not about that. Our life is being practical, reading something. You know, educating yourself. Read some books. Whatever the case is, why don't we plan? Why don't we plan? Look, I'm going to go home, inshallah, and I will revise something. <laughs> My Quran is not good. My recitation is not good. Let's listen to a reciter. Let's try to read. Let's try to go on YouTube and listen to Qadi Abdul Basit. MashaAllah. Best Qadi in the world passed away. Listen to Qadi Abdul Basit every day, one line. No one's telling you to re- recite the whole surah. No. One, one verse. Listen to that verse. 100 times and see okay that's the way he's reciting how he's connecting the words how is he reciting how what 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 is he stretching what idgham is he doing what ikhfa is he doing what ghunna is he doing alhamdulillah we don't read quran at all okay inshallah i'll read two lines a day i'll read five lines a day i'll read one side every single day from the books of tafsir i will read some you know explanation some commentary on the quran i'll read qurtubi i'll read ibn kathir 